Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do a flip through of this book here, Color Universe, A World of Coloring Challenges by Kirby Rosam. It's his new book that came out. This is a, a book that has, uh, well, I'll read you the little blip that comes up on Amazon when you look at it. So it says, uh, Color Universe brings together some of Kirby's most dazzling scenes from landscapes to dreamlike mythical realms of your own, of our own animal kingdom. It is a complem, com, yeah, a, a book full of pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby has created in the new coloring uh, challenge that features the awe-inspiring illustrations from his internationally best-selling books, Fragile World, Worlds Within Worlds, Mythic World, and Alien World. So this book <clears throat> has got, uh, let's see, opens with 16 um, pages of full-colored art showcasing many of the um, ways to color his artwork along with the illustrator's uh, personal tips and tricks which will inspire readers as they enter into Kirby's universe and embark on the most adventurous coloring journey yet. That's the blip. <laughs> uh, let's see, the book is um, 10 inches by 10 and almost 10 and a half inches this way. So it's not quite square. It has 80 picture or 80 pages in it completely. So let's see if I can't get this open. And I'll go to the second page here to break the spine a little bit. And you should all recognize this page. If you can see the whole kit and caboodle, maybe you can't. Let me stand up here and see if I can get the whole thing in just a little bit better. There. Okay. Can't remember what book this comes out of. But he gives a little blip here on it, and you can read that. Then he has the little uh, information on the pages. That's beautifully done. So these are the first pages. Oh, isn't that pretty? It probably tells you in these blips who did these um, bits. So this uh, legendary Loch Ness monster is done by this person here, and they give you probably their YouTube channel. But isn't that done well? This is from the Alien page, I believe, or a book. I don't have that one. Oh, that's done really nicely too, with all the mythical animals. Yeah, I believe this is the cover. Yeah, the cover here. Then we get into our coloring section. So if you think you've seen some of these pictures before, you probably have. I don't have some of these books, so I thought it would be good to pick this up. So this will show you what's inside of here. Yep, this is a double page spread. We got some kind of uh, sea critter here and a spaceship. Here we have our, what are, are we, monkeys or apes? Don't know. I know this picture. Oh, and this one would be gorgeously colored. Double page spread here. Compilation is what I was trying to say before that I could not come up with. So yeah, another double page spread. It's done on really nice paper, like all Kirby books are. And 
don't know that page. Didn't know that one. <laughs> I can't tell you what books they are in. <coughs> I have to break that spine just a little bit more here. Really hard to do with my shoulder, so I'm not going to do it too well. That would be really pretty colored up too. Look at the detail in this one. Wow. Oh, and this is the stag we saw earlier in the colored section. And here's our little dinosaur here. Ah, and remember this page too. Oh, and the details of the gears in this one. Wow. Um, okay. This little dude. He's interesting. Birds. This is a double page spread too with his spaceship here and critters that uh, are from the imagination. <laughs> this is like a box with the ball of all these little tidbits in it. Some kind of critter here that wraps around. This has got to be from the alien thing too. That would be done really pretty. I've done this page in the other book. Wow, and this is the one with all the mythical creatures. Oh, the tiger, the phoenix. Not quite sure. Then we've got a dragon over here. Cool book. Oh, that's interesting. And this guy, hello there. <laughs> oh, this must be timeline threads of time. This little beast. Some more birds. And one wicked little mermaid. Hyenas. An eye of some kind of bird and a bat. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Another fish. How is that? Um, sorry. It's the front cover reversed. Or a fish from another book, but it's uh, the same fish. It's just reversed from the front cover. We got like bottles or blobs or bubbles. He's kind of creepy. <laughs> and again, so is this one. <laughs> Another interesting spaceship. Nine tails here. Oh, the page is really pretty. It's a treat for the eyes where you go into different things and you're seeing, um, you know, alien things and then you come right back into a landscape with uh, your birds. These are e like eels. Don't like eels. Another alien type thing, compass. A very large fish. Mm. Eating little ship here. I've seen this page done before. The library. This is the double page with the beautiful dragon in it. Another alien. I've done this page before. Oh, wow. Look at all them trees. 
all those flowers. <laughs> I would just uh, kind of make that all blended colors together. These little snakes flying all over the place. And that is the end of the book. Back cover with that beautiful stag in there. So you have Kirby.com, Sketch and Stories blog here on Facebook and his um, Instagram page if you wanted to follow that. So yeah, 80 pages uh, came out in October 17th. Of course, it took a while for it to get to me because, well, I'm not in the same area he is. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. If you had any questions, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. I will leave a link to the um, Amazon in the United States uh, underneath the um, description box so you can see if you wanted to look at the book. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye now.